We're at Road 13's Bottling Line with winemaker Michael Barche and cellar master Bailey Williamson to take a closer look at the winery's packaging. Two years, we made what I think was a pretty bold move, and we put our entire wine portfolio under Stelvin closures, screw caps. So while it was a standard practice to use Stelvin for white wines, it was less common with the high-end reds because there's this myth that wines do not age well under, under screw caps. So the reality, though, is that they do age quite well under Stelvin, and there's plenty of research that backs this up. A Stelvin screw cap is as good a seal as the best cork. Unfortunately, there aren't that many best corks. So, by the way, while we're out here blowing fallacies out of the water, Bailey, uh, <laughs> corks don't breathe. At least they shouldn't, because if they do, you'd have a bottle of vinegar. Think about it. If, if your cork breathed, how fizzy would your sparkling wine be, huh? Easy, Michael. Calm down. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just these cork and anti-Stelvin guys get me all wound up. <laughs> so what kind of research backs this up, Michael? Uh, lots. Like what? Uh, there, there's plenty, you know, just look, there's lots of guys out there in white lab coats, you know, lots of research stuff, okay? Okay, go on. Well, like, Mick likes it because it's easy to open, okay? He, he never mastered the corkscrew. Mick can't open a bottle of booze. Well, I don't buy that for a moment. <laughs> yeah, thanks, teleprompter Bailey. <laughs> Let's just move on here, okay? You can see that we've used the Stelv enclosure on our top wines, including our jackpot Syrah here. And in keeping with that theme, we also use the good old uh, crown cap, which is best known for adorning beer, for our sparkling Chenin Blanc. It was Bailey's idea to make this bubble, so I'm gonna let him describe the hows and the whys and the end result here. Bailey? Well, thanks, Michael. This is the sparkling Chenin Blanc, made in the traditional style, but without the traditional cork. There was a, a lot of reasons for that, but uh, we found that it worked just as well, maintained the flavors and the crisp acidity as well. I think we should try some. Excellent idea, always a good idea. We use the disgorging tool that we have. Oh. There we go. And like it. that's how it comes out. Well, it's not too early for a little bit of sparkling, is it, Michael? No, the sun's past the yard arm somewhere. <laughs> mm. Oh. Ah, the Okanagan in a glass. <laughs> Let's try some of the jackpot Syrah. Okay, Michael. <laughs> Very polite of you. Oh, easy. Okay. Thank Sir? you. So, this, yeah, this is a classic Okanagan Syrah with all the flavors, the, the butcher block, the pepper, the backbone, the tannins. This is, this is a wine that people are allowed to chew. So, thank you for joining us. Uh, we're off to do some, some more glamorous winemaker work and today the, the agenda is to scrub the, <laughs> scrub the cellar floor. Pass me the scrubber please, Michael. <laughs> yes, we're going to do an excellent job of it. <laughs> You know, what, you know what we should scrub the floor with is a, uh, with a wiener dog. <laughs> <laughs>